Hey guys, happy Saturday. It is a, like wants to come on. Come on boo, let's go outside. I just gotta go outside. Anyway, it's been a pretty good day so far. I actually woke up like nine o'clock-ish. And um, so we went to Matthew's volleyball tournament. <laughs> but the thing was my dad had to be, we went, we got there at like 10 o'clock. My dad had to be home at 12 o'clock. And so we get there and they had, were finishing up their game. So we go and um, they, what are you doing? Can you peel my orange? No, I can't. I don't know how to peel an orange. And not very well anyway. And I hate it because it gets under my nails and it smells. And I don't like orange smell. I don't, I don't know. It's not that I don't like orange smell, but like, it's just, duh. It, like, whenever, like, even after I wash my hands, my fingers still smell like oranges. I don't know why. Ike, come on outside. Ike. He doesn't want to go now. Anyway, so, we go, get there, and they finish their game. And, um, they had won, I think they lost one game or something like that. But they made it into the gold division, which the gold division is for, like, first place. Um, you know, overall, it's gold, silver bronze and so they won their division and moved to the gold bracket and so um basically they we get there and they finish that game then um we find out that they're on a lunch break for an hour and a half so we had to come home at 12 o'clock and so my uh because my dad had to work so we get there at and we had to leave basically right afterwards because they were on a lunch break and they're like, oh, well, it's an hour and a half lunch break um, until like they can set up the main gym for the big ones. But they actually won third place overall in the gold. So it's third place overall basically um, out of all of the teams that were there, which were 12 teams. And the first and second place teams were actually two teams that um, qualify for state. So our our team which you guys have seen you know of whatever we only have like three subs we have a small little team we almost didn't even have a freshman team they wound up winning third place and Matthew said that they hung with them too it was the first game I think was like 18 to 25 and the second game wasn't they didn't do quite as well against that team but they were like pretty competitive with First and second, you know, I don't know which team they played, if it was the first or I would assume it's the second place team. But hung with them, you know, in order to, um, you know, almost beat the team that are teams that are going, possibly going to state. Which I was like, that's awesome. Like, seriously, that's really awesome. So they wound up getting third place overall. So they got, um, you know, pretty, pretty good standings. Um, but I told you guys, it's so weird because it just depends on their day. Like today they actually look really focused and everything like that, but it's like they play up to these really good teams and they put down to these really bad teams or they have an off day or something like that. And it's like so random. <laughs> and so like they'll, they'll play a team that like they could easily like dominate and they'll wind up like barely winning or like not winning at all. And I'm like, really? So yeah, those, it was pretty good. I, like I said, only got to catch like the last five points of that game so I was like oh I'll record the next game and then there wasn't even a next game so I was like okay I'm not gonna record now obviously since I don't have anything to record but I wish I could have recorded for you guys because it was pretty pretty cool the you know five minutes of game that I got to see and then we had to leave but yeah so congrats to Matthew on there and his team on their um third place tournament hey guys so I'm actually going to head to bed in just a few minutes it's like 11 o'clock um and I actually got everything done earlier today um for my list and everything so I don't have to do that now which is awesome so I'm not up until like two o'clock in the morning um so I just have two more coupons or something like that to clip but that's from the Sunday's paper and I have to go and get them from the kitchen so dad just brought them in um or he forgot to bring them in but I wanted to share with you guys what I got for my mom and for my grandma for Mother's Day because this vlog will be up after tomorrow and yesterday's vlog is going to be up tomorrow too <laughs> because I didn't, I forgot to actually download the, or yeah, download the videos from yesterday. Anyway, so for my mom, I went to Target and my dad actually bought like my mom like a main gift um, or two main gifts from like you know us overall but um 
like I use my own money I guess for this stuff and Matthew and Jack got my mom something too from um what's it called earlier they got her I'll show you guys it tomorrow most likely they got her like a little um fountain type thingy that's like like one of those little ones there was one on clearance at CVS after like um Christmas and so I wound up buying it and just have them pay me back for it um and so I had one and my mom really really liked it and so she wanted one so I was like oh I'll get it uh, I was like oh I'll keep my eye out for it because I knew she wanted it so I wound up getting her these earrings because I know that she's wanted hoop earrings like um she likes silver hoop earrings so I got her set of these these ones are kind of the fancier ones a little bit you guys can see these and then um I also got her just a plain a pair of plain ones with all different three different sizes and they were $4.99 but they're on sale buy one get one 50% off all the jewelry was buy one get one 50% off and then I also got her M&Ms as well so I spent like around 10 bucks or something like that on her and the M&Ms I don't know how much they were but there was a 5% off cartwheel that I wound up using on that and my dad is getting or got her an iced tea maker and then also a um a like one of those like petty egg things like for your skin on your feet and stuff like that so um then I wound up getting my grandma butterscotch candies because those were her favorite and there was a five percent cartwheel on that as well and then I also got her one of these it was actually on sale these eco tools body scrubber things these um just because it's like you know eco-friendly one and because I don't even know if she has one anymore but um I just got her that because like oh it's on sale <laughs> okay I'll pick that up um and then I also got her the Maybelline baby lips because one I love these things they're addicting I don't actually have this one particularly um I got I, the last time I got it Good, good deal on them was like a long time ago it was $2.99 so it wasn't even really that expensive but the thing is it's like nice because it's a like you know they're kind of like tinting um lip balms a little bit and so it's a medicated balm and so I got it for her because she has really really dry lips and um the thing is like she uses like stuff sometimes but the problem is she likes to wear like lipstick a lot of times too like just to be you know just to look nice and stuff like that and the lipstick she uses is like from the dollar store and so it's not like moisturizing really and so I was like well I could get her this because I love it because it's a really awesome like lip tint and it's moisturizing too so I was like I'll get her this because I know that she you know she just literally asked me the other day she's like Kayla do my lips look do my lip does my lipstick look good now I was like oh yeah it looks good but like her lips are like dry and like I don't think she I don't know if she comprehends either that she can like put like lip balm on you know like just a plain lip balm and then put lipstick on or like she doesn't so it's like she has like crackly lips with lipstick on and I'm like yeah no why don't you just go with this so that's what I got her for um Mother's Day and so I wound up spending like under $20 for the stuff that I wound up getting but like I said, my dad got my mom the main Mother's Day present um, because, like, Matthew, because basically, if it was up to me, it'd be, or if it was up to us, it'd be me basically just buying the gift because Matthew's pretty much broke and Jack is broke as well. So it would just be me buying me, my mom a Mother's Day present. Like, they're still too young, which I guess is the good thing about having younger siblings. So, like, when I was little, I never bought my mom a Mother's Day present. Like, personally from me like use my own money on it like I might have bought her like the card or something but you know my dad would like you know go and get the big present and so that's the good thing about having younger siblings is because they you know they can't pay for the big present and so we can't split the cost evenly so my dad's like oh I'll just buy it so I don't have to spend as much of my money <laughs> um which is the good thing I guess but um like I said I I bought it for them earlier because I was like oh I know mom wants that no they wouldn't remember to get that for her <laughs> or even like you know would have contemplated in their mind that they actually had to get her something um so yeah I wound up getting that for them and luckily I got it early enough before Matthew was broke um <laughs> and so now he doesn't have money but at least he has a present so um yeah I think I'm gonna head to bed um now so I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed the vlog from today, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. And I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. So, bye, guys.
If you like the content in this video, then don't forget to subscribe right here. If you guys want to check out my couponing channel, subscribe right here. If you guys want to find more fun videos, check out this channel, this net.